it's a bit complicated because the First World War was the last war of the Ottomans, Ottoman Empire. And this war is presented as something like a national war. It has lost its imperial meaning. Uh, this could be observed at several levels. First of all, the uh, soldiers who fought in the war were not only the Muslim Turks. There were Kurds, there were Arabs, there were Armenians, there were Jews, there were Greeks. They were all Ottoman uh, citizens, and Ottoman army was an imperial army. However, during the Republican period, First World War was transformed into something like a national war. And especially uh, the, the battles of Gallipoli, uh, because of the presence of Mustafa Kemal, uh, Colonel Mustafa Kemal, uh, who later was the national hero of Turkish War of Independence and the founder of Turkish Republic. Uh, because of his presence over there, it was taken, it was cut from the usual context of the war and planted to the Turkish War of Independence, which started in 1919. And the usual understanding of the war is as follows. This was a kind of an imperialist war, and the imperial powers, or great powers like <clears throat> Russia, uh, United Kingdom, and France, attacked Turkey in order to destroy Turkish national independence and Turkish national entity. Uh, and there was one you know, highly talented military leader, Mustafa Kemal, who re uh, organized the resistance of Gallipoli and stopped them over there. Uh, but the, this analysis is, is a kind of a extremely partial analysis without taking into consideration the general context of the war and how it came out. And I can say finally, uh, it's been nationalized in the memory of the Turks.